A spur of coal mine accidents over the past few months have triggered the alarm bell concerning work safety standards across the country. We are heading to a large coal mine in northeastern China to find out exactly what are the hidden dangers and why in some cases they have been neglected. 400 meters underground, this is the world where China's 6 million coal miners have spent their lives fueling the country's incredible growth. Digging in the dark is often considered the hardest job among all the labor options. And shockingly, after a long day at work in tough conditions, some miners have another job to go to. The collapse in coal prices has left miners with a huge cut in income. Many miners here have a second job after the eight-hour shift. So when coming to work the following day, exhausted, there is a high possibility that safety is overlooked. Last month, coal mines across China were ordered to conduct safety overhauls to prevent major accidents. A three-year ban on new coal mine projects was also implemented. Safety measures for remaining mines are at an all-time high. Back in the heyday, investing money in safety equipment and consolidation was never a concern. But now most coal mines are struggling to cope with safety expenses. They have to cut down on other costs like wages and electricity bills. While safety has been reinforced in remaining mines, the recent price rally in coal prices has triggered a rush to revive production at closed mines. Investigations into recent accidents have found flagrant violations of the law, such as fake closures and the fake blueprints, and no regard to ensure the physical safety of human life. Since September last year, coal prices have started to pick up. Some mines produce more than the designed production capacity and go beyond the safety limits. As the safety inspection authority, we now have more responsibility on our shoulders. As China's economy starts slowing down, coal and steel are no longer seen as vital for the nation's continued growth. But to make coal less deadly to extract in a country that still uses the black rock for two-thirds of its energy source, that will take a lot more than just shutting down small mines. Guanyang, CGTN. Liaoning Province.